Namaste, all dear friends. This presentation is done by Professor Pralad Padri. Today we are going to see Kitchen Organization Structure. In Kitchen Organization Structure, we are going to discuss following topics. Classical Kitchen Brigade of 5 Star and 3 Star Hotel. The duties and responsibilities of various kitchen chefs working in a hotel and the liaison of kitchen department all other live departments. Kitchen is a enclosed place in which edible food materials brought together, combined, and cooked in a different way for consumption. Kitchen is the heart and soul of any food and beverage operation. Food is prepared and cooked in specific areas like hot galley, banquet kitchen, coffee shop kitchen, speciality restaurants, bakery etc. Many personnel who are working in kitchen and preparing the food as per the requirement under the guidance of kitchen chef. The size of the kitchen staff can range from one person to a large group. Classically, this is known as brigade. Brigade means that a team of cooks with their assistant under party system formed by the great chef, August Escafier. He organized kitchen by the brigade system with each section run by a chef to party. In this system, everybody had a distinct task, which meant that no one duplicated anyone else work. The system provided efficiency, economy, safety, and spirit among the staff. The size of the kitchen staff is determined equally by the number of meals the restaurant commonly serves and how extensive the menu is. The number of the people actually employed in a kitchen will vary greatly from one operation to next and depend on the size of the establishment. For example top 5 star hotel kitchen could have between 80 to 150 chefs, whereas a small restaurant could have 4 to 10 chefs. However each would still have a hierarchical structure. Kitchen Brigade is a team of cooks with their assistant under party system and this system is developed by the chef of King George August Escafier in the early 20th century. The structure team system delegates responsibilities to different individuals who specialize in certain tasks which makes work more easy. Before going through the kitchen organizational hierarchical structure, first we will discuss about the typical positions available in kitchen brigade, depending on the size of establishment. Executive chef or head chef is a leader of kitchen department. Sous chef is the second chef in command, then chef de party, CDP, called as section heads who run the section, demi-chef de party, DCDP, is the upcoming supervisor, who handles particular section. Then we have Kami position. Known as frontline cook, there may be Kami 1, Kami 2 and Kami 3 positions, available in a kitchen. Kami 1 may work as section head, followed by assistant Kami, and last, we have apprentice or trainees. This is the classical kitchen brigade structure, of a 5-star hotel kitchen. In this chart, we can see that an executive chef is the main head person of the kitchen department who is responsible for smooth running of the kitchen, followed by sous chef. In a five-star hotel, there may be more than one sous chef who is working in a hotel at various areas like main kitchen, banquet kitchen, guard manji section, pastry section, sauce section, etc. Then we have various section heads called as CDP, Chef the Party, or Kami 1, working at various sections like sauce, roast, larder, grill, fish, soup, Indian section, pastry section, breakfast cook, and staff cook. Then we have Kami and Apprentice working in different sections. This is the organization chart of three-star or medium category type of hotel. Executive Chef is the main head person who is leading a kitchen followed by sous chef, looking after various departments in a hotel. Usually in a medium category hotels, you will find various sections like Western section, pastry section, Indian section, and main kitchen, which are headed by CDP, chef de party, or head chef, that is Kami 1, working with various Kami and apprentice. Let us discuss about the duties and responsibilities of various section cooks. Executive chef the executive chef is much more a departmental manager. His duties are never-ending, he is responsible for producing everything 
related to the kitchen food and pastry production, including menu creation, staff, and business management aspects. The principal function is to plan, forecast, organize, and supervise the work of the kitchen. He is the departmental head and is responsible for the entire management and monitoring of his department. He is responsible for planning menus, considering customer base, popularity of various dishes, holidays, costs, and wide variety of other factors. He is both as a cook and an administrator. He schedules and coordinate the work of chefs, commies, and any other kitchen employees to ensure that food preparation is economical and technically correct. He prepared departmental budget, considering the area of responsibility, project annual food cost and labor cost, and monitor actual financial result. He prepares the duty roster for the staff to carry out their duties. He is responsible for selection, recruiting and dismissal of the staff in consultation with the personnel department. He is responsible for training of the kitchen staff to increase their knowledge about food safety, sanitation, and accident prevention principles. He conduct regular physical inventory of food supplies and assess projected needs and then order supplies accordingly. Chef also ensured that his team maintain high standard of food hygiene, sanitation, and cleanliness throughout the kitchen at all times. He monitor portion and food waste to maintain profit margin. He develop and taste recipes and techniques for food preparations and presentation which help to ensure consistent high quality and to minimize food cost, exercise portion control, and assist in establishing menu selling prices. He evaluate food products to ensure that quality standard are consistently attained. He support and participate in hotel activities the duties and responsibilities of the chef are so wide that it may be said that they may best be appreciated than listing. Sous chef. Sous chef is direct assistant of the executive chef. He is second in command and superiority after the executive chef and he report directly to the chef. He aids chef in general administration, supervising food production and overseeing service. In larger establishment, there are a number of sous chefs found working in the sauce section, pastry area, banquet kitchens, speciality restaurants, guard manji whereas in smaller operation, may not have a sous chef position. He is responsible for scheduling the kitchen staff and mainly responsible for the efficient day-to-day -day functioning of the kitchen. He supervises day-to-day -day practical kitchen activities and the cleanliness. He delegates the daily duties for the sections and to give daily briefing to the staff working in various areas. He is also responsible for daily checking of mise à plat, food production, food service, spoilage and wastage, and production control. He takes daily inventory of ingredients, check stocks and stock rotation, storage and cleanliness, staff discipline and hygiene. He calls up the order from the kitchen and supervises the service. He also prepare and cook the food as per the order. He assist executive chef with all kitchen operations. Also help chef in creation of new menu items, menu planning, food trials. He look after all hygiene aspects of the kitchen, staff discipline and also recommendation for good performance. He helps coordinate staff training on menu items including ingredients, preparation methods and unique taste, and also train staff for any newly introduced items. He actively involve themselves in interacting with guests or customers, suggestion, solving problems, creating friendly atmosphere and vendors or suppliers as needed. To handle the interaction between kitchen and restaurant staff, settling any dispute quickly and quietly, which are arise from time to time. To ensure timely and quality service of our menu items, according to service specification and guest expectations. Chef de party. Chef de party is also known as station chef or line cook. They are in charge of particular area of production. For the different section in the kitchen, there is a chef de party. These section include sauce cook, roast cook, pastry cook, larder cook, vegetable cook etc. In the larger kitchens, each chef de party is assisted by one or more commie cook, like first commie, 
second commie, third commie and trainees. Duties and Responsibilities of Chef de Party The duties of Chef de Parties are administrative, involving staff scheduling, supervision, training, discipline etc. He must have a thorough knowledge of all aspect of the operation of a kitchen. He should be able to plan and delegate job task to the junior staff. He should be able to mentor and coach junior chefs. Primarily to plan and direct food preparations to staff members. Also involve in planning menus. He is responsible for ensuring food quality and taste is of the highest standard. Managing inventory of stock and ordering raw materials as per stock inventory. Controlling budget and minimizing wastage. Maintaining health and hygiene in the kitchen. Organizing duty roster of the staff, DCDP. Demi-chef de party, they assist chef de parties, and are, the head of the section, in the absence of, chef de party. They should have, very good knowledge, of the section. He is responsible for cooking and presentation, as per the standardized recipes. He allocate work to commies. Also controlling food production and wastages. Checking mise à plat, on quality and quantity. He maintain discipline and grooming of staff. He also maintain hygiene and sanitation standards at all time. He is responsible for portion controlling. 